Guy Ted Walters here, and I've got a quick what's in the bag video. A um, few changes have gone. Uh, for any of you who's watched any of the vlogs or, or seen uh, previous what's in the bag, which I did with uh, Andy Carter a few months back, a few months back, probably winter time actually, it's probably the start of the year. A uh, few changes to the bag. You may have noticed recently in different vlogs, different driver has gone into the bag over the last few months. Um, fairway wood, irons, wedges. All different now so let's have a look at what we've got i'm going to start with the driver so you may have seen it on the uh, some of the vlogs uh, um, and some of the testing that i've done taylor made m1 uh, absolutely love this driver love the look of it love the feel of it it's probably the one of the best looking drivers seen for a long long time um, i love the fact that you can t tinker is tinker the right word to use it no? optimize optimize launch conditions loft spin rates um, and being able to maneuver it about and have a little play around with it and see you know as things change where the best setting is to have is gr is a great great tool to have to the 460 cc head i've got 9.5 degrees loft as standard and at the minute i've just got it set on the standard loft i haven't really changed the loft on it at all i've just left it standard i have had a little play around with where we've got the the, the weight to the back weight, I've had it a little bit down here at the back for a high launch, I've had a little bit further forward at the minute, it's right in the middle. Um, the front uh, weight position, um, I've had it a little bit draw bias, a little bit fade bias. Uh, again, it's right at the middle at the minute. I'm probably not going to go back to the draw bias side of it with my miss shot being off to the left. So, shaft in it is the um, Speeder 661 Evo, um, standard stiff flex. Um, it's a standard length as well, uh, which is for this driver is 45 and a uh, half inches. Um, just a standard golf crowd grip on at the minute. It is going to get changed, so it'll match the, the grips that are on the rest of the clubs at the minute. It does need a, a change anyway, so uh, I'll be changing that over the next uh, few days, probably, as we go through. So that's the driver, the big stick. Put that in there. Um, fairway wood, going for the M2. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to uh, one of TaylorMade's performance centres, uh, the one which is closest to me, down at Trufa Golf in um, Warrington, and it was great to see the different performance from the heads with the same shaft in it um, and the different shafts got, that they've got available, especially when it came to the fairway wood. Um, tried the M1 head and the M2 head. Um, and the flight and the control and feel off the M2 was absolutely sensational, which is why I went for the M2 head. It's just a standard 15 degree three wood. And I've got in it the uh, Matrix Ozix red tie in stiff flex. It's at its standard length. Um, really, really good performance off the shaft as well. Um, nice feel off it, but great penetration and control of the ball flight as it goes through, especially with this head. Um, multi-compound grip on it, two layers of tape underneath the grip, uh, which is the grip that's going to end up on the, dr the driver as well when I change that over the next few days. But really looking forward to getting this out onto the golf course. Uh, feels really, really, really good. Irons-wise, um, I've gone for, I went for a split. Um, if you've seen my uh, reviews of the, the PSI irons, the M2 irons, um, the M2 irons, especially the M2 Tour irons, performed really, really well uh, in testing. Um, and I probably had that iron in mind when I was down at the Performance Centre. Um, but, again, the, the ability to be able to try the different shafts, the different heads, um, I was surprised with what came back. Um, and the best performing iron uh, was the PSI. Now... I've gone in three, four, five, and six with the PSI, the standard PSI head, uh, which is a not a forged head. It's slightly more forgiving. It's higher moment of inertia, more um, forgiveness on the off centre hits, maximised in the ball speed, um, which is a great thing to have in a longer club. Uh, the shaft I've gone in there is the KBS Tall Stiff Flex. Um, tried the Dynamic Golds, tried the Project X, um, tried the Nippon uh, Nimbus as well. Um, and this shaft performed really, really well. Um, really good in terms of its distance, penetration, and control of the peak height as well. The apex of the shot was really, really good with this compared to the others. 
uh, and a really nice feel off it as well. Uh, the line angle on the clubs are one degree upright. The length of the shaft is half an inch longer. Um, again, the same Golf Pride uh, multi-compound grip with the two layers of tape on it. So three, four and five iron in the PSI head. Uh, six iron in the PSI head. Then seven, eight, nine pitching wedge in the PSI tour. The feel of these is amazing. Really, really, really nice. Very, very soft. Um, and again, they've still got the little uh, face pockets in there just to, to maximize the, the speed and the off-center hits, which is great. Um, the lie angle, again, one degree upright. Um, KBS, tall, stiff shaft, half an inch longer than the standard. Uh, again, with the, the same grip and thickness two layers in there as well so that goes through then takes me through to my wedges now I've gone for probably the the best looking wedge I've seen in a long long time which is the EFTP uh, wedge and um, I've gone for it in the the carbon finish um, which looks amazing really do like the, the, the look of the club um, the feel of it as well the KBS wedge shaft is in there at the same length at a half inch longer than the standard um, in 50 degree which is my gap um, the lie angle is one degree upright now I've pointed this out because the other two wedges 54 58 are at standard length the reason I've gone one degree upright with this is because again majority of shots you're going to play with this are going to be full swings um, so just like with the rest of the clubs I wanted that to sit in there nicely so I could get um, really good um, leading edge and turf interaction in there and as good close centre hits as possible um, again grip and grip thickness exactly the same but in 54-58 I stuck with the standard um, lie angle because as we get more loft on the club me with a, a, a miss shot to the left um, the club face starts to tilt more to the left the more upright it becomes with a, a lofted club so to avoid that I've just gone with the standard length uh, sorry the, the standard lie angle um, so again the lengthwise still half inch longer in both because I do like to play full shots with both 54 and 58 anyway um, but the the lie angle of the club staying at the, at the standard lie angle um, again they both got the KBS uh, torque wedge shaft in there as well so really looking forward to getting those out on uh, on the golf course there is as well uh, come in check out the channel for a review on the wedges as well which is great so check that out um, I put that still trusty Scotty at the minute um, at the minute thinking about maybe changing we'll see um, but yeah so Scotty 34 inch um, slight change in grip, got rid of the, uh, the super stroke and just put uh, a 3 gen lampkin on there at the minute just for change more than anything else. Um, so yeah, that's what is in the bag and the bag itself is a new bag as well, new tour bag as well from TaylorMade. So big thanks to TaylorMade um, for, for all that. Um, guys, let me know what you think. What, what would you have done differently? Would you, if you have split the irons and gone for the, the tour and right the way through or, or not um, let me know what you think guys thanks for watching post your comments in the uh, in the boxes below as well if you haven't subscribed to the channel it's totally free to do so just click on the little link there it'll take you straight through to the uh, subscribe page you can follow me on the social networks as well links are in the description below um, and I look forward to seeing you with these out on the golf course see you next time thanks for watching